Right, let's consider the case of a uh, plug flow or tubular flow reactor with first order kinetics. So we've got tube here with a uh, flow rate, volumetric flow rate of Q meters cubed per second and an at an inlet concentration of our starting component A of CA0 moles per cubic meter. <coughs> so we have a cross sectional area A and we're going to consider the distance along the reactor to be X. And at the inlet we've got that X equals naught and at the outlet got that x equals l which is the the length uh, of our tubular flow reactor and at the outlet the concentration of our starting material we're going to say cal just to simplify the maths a little bit we're going to say that the velocity is equal to Q over A and that's in meters per second. So the equation that was derived previously for a plug flow reactor was that RA equals Q over A times DCA by DX. I'll we'll just simplify that slightly by saying that that is equal to U times DCA by DX. And um, we're going to say that we've got first order kinetics in our starting material A. So that means that we can write down the rate equation as RA equals minus K times CA. And it's minus because A is being consumed. So uh, RA is a negative value. Uh, and this says key K is the kinetic rate constant. And um, because it's a first order reaction, the rate constant has units of seconds to the minus one. So we can substitute this into uh, the earlier equation and we get that minus K times CA is equal to U DCA by DX. And we're going to make one, one further assumption in order to allow us um, to do the integration. Now we need K to be constant. So we're going to assume that we've got constant temperature along the length of the reactor. Um, if we assume that, we can then do the integration. So we take our dx to the left hand side and we're going to say we'll take the k over to the right hand side. So that's minus u over k and this is d CA over CA. So we've taken KCA over to that side, we've taken DX over to that side, so we've now got uh, an integration there. We need to do set some limits. So we're going to do the integration from X equals naught to X equals L and the corresponding values of CA are CA naught and CA L. So this um, is simple, that gives us just x, integrate dx, and that's between limits of naught and L, and that is equal to minus u over k, so 1 over, D, one over ca dca integrated is the log, so that's the log of ca between the limits. CA0, 
C-A-L. Um, and that gives us that L is equal to minus U over K and log C-A-L over C-A naught. And um, we can then get rid of the minus sign and say that L is equal to U over K and log CA naught over CAL. And that gives us the length of the uh, tubular flow reactor, plug flow reactor in this case, uh, as a function of the velocity, the first order kinetic rate constant, and the required inlet and outlet concentrations uh, of our starting material.